I'm Nate Moeller from Web801, and we're going to talk today about creating an email list, the hows and whys, using Gravity Forms and MailChimp. So the first question is, what's an email list? According to one source, an email list is a list of emails that businesses have gathered from visitors, either clients or potential clients, who'd like to receive information, updates, discounts, and other details about your business in a digital format that's sent to their email inbox. Why are email lists so important then? Email marketing is the best way to connect with your customers. You're six times more likely to get higher click-through rates through email than any other source. So email marketing is still a must. One of my favorite marketers, Neil Patel, said this about email marketing. Out of all the channels I've tested, as a marketer, email continually outperforms most of them. Not only does it have a high conversion rate, but as you build up your list, you can continually monetize it by pitching multiple products. Just look at e-commerce sites like Amazon. One way they get you to continually buy more products from them is by emailing you offers on a regular basis. So the common question I get is where do I start? Here's the simple answer. Give visitors a reason to opt in or sign up for email. Giving visitors a reason to opt in starts with an easy call to action or CTA. Because if you're not inviting visitors to do something on your website, you're completely missing the mark. Here's some examples of CTAs that really work. One of them could be download our paperwork. If you own a service business and you have paperwork that people have to fill out when they get to the office, have them download it ahead of time. By having a call to action like this, when they click on it, it says, hey, here's your name, email and have you worked with us before this helps me know whether it's a new lead or a repeat client and then when they click get the paperwork you've captured their name and their email and you're going to give them what they need another option is free downloads <clears throat> this client specifically has either pdfs or mp3 files that she's willing to give away to her clients and you'll notice here it says I'd like to receive email announcements from time to time. We've default checked the yes please. That's an opt-in form. So that can be helpful. When they click on it, this is the form that that pops up. Again, it has name, email, and then again that I'd like to receive email announcements from time to time with the yes please already checked. Another option is reservations and scheduling. This client has reserve a seat and when they click on that, It has a two-step form where it captures information about when they want to come to the location and then it asks for their name, email, phone number, and any other questions. And these people have built a huge list based on their reservations. One specific function I don't really recommend, and that is this. Join the newsletter. I call this lazy email marketing, not only because For many clients, it doesn't work. They don't have a very active newsletter, but it's just so standard. It's like having read more as the call to action. Sure, people might click on that, but it's not really getting the visitor to do what we want them to do. So unless you have a newsletter that you are consistent at and that adds a lot of value to your clients or you blog all the time, joining our newsletter is probably not the best invitation to build your email list. Next question is how do I set up the process? It starts with Gravity Forms and MailChimp for my clients. And now I'm going to show you a step-by-step process I've done with a client currently. All right, so we're here, we're on Web801. We're gonna go to Forms and then down to Add-ons and I'll click on Add-ons. And then I'll get to the Gravity Forms add-ons. I'll scroll down and I'm looking for MailChimp. There's the MailChimp add-on. I'll click Install and then Activate Plugin. I'll then go back to Forms 
And I, as you can see, I have a lot of forms here, so I'm going to click on Active. I'll find the form that I want to use. I'll click, go to Settings, and then I'll click MailChimp. When I click MailChimp, I'll see this little message the mail, to the, go to the MailChimp settings. So I click on that, and it, notice that I need a MailChimp API key. So then I'm going to go to MailChimp and go to the drop down to Account. Then I'll see Extras and then API keys. I click on that. And you'll scroll down, you'll see your API keys. You'll see you don't have any active API keys. So I create an API or create a key. And then you'll see there it shows up. I'll copy that. Then I'll go back to the add ons and I'll paste that in right here and click update. Now I've created the API key between Gravity Forms and MailChimp. Now I'll go back to Forms. I'll click on Active and I'll go to Onboarding and then MailChimp Settings. Then I'll click Create a MailChimp feed. I'm going to label this one with the name. This, in this case, I'm going to call it Discovery. And then I'll select the MailChimp account, which is Web801. And then it's going to show a bunch of different fields. In this case, I'm going to click Email, um, Address. I'll add the address just because I'm asking for that. But when you're doing this, you're not going to see all these fields. Mainly, you might see Email, First Name, Last Name. But you'll see I'll. I'm going through all these, I'm getting the name, the first name, last name, I'm getting the business name, which is in this case the company name, and then the phone number. You'll also see this option for double opt-in. So I usually uncheck that. You'll also see a little place for tags there. I'm going to type in discovery, and then I'll explain to you what that all means. So then I'll go to MailChimp, and I'll go to Audience. And you'll see I have tags. I'm going to click View All Tags. And then I'm going to click Create Tag. And I'll call this one Discovery as well. And I'll click Create. And I'm going to click Update Settings. Now I'm going to show you how this works. I click on Start the Discovery Process. I'll fill this out quickly with a few of the options. I'll auto fill this as well. And click Submit. Now when I go back to MailChimp and I refresh this, I'm going to click on Audience and I'll see Discovery. I'm going to click on the Discovery tag. I'm going to click View Contacts and you'll see that the lead that I just got is now automatically imported into my MailChimp account. I can also check this in Entries and there's the lead there as well. So the question now is what do I do with these leads as they come in? How do I email them out? So I'll go to MailChimp and I will go to Campaigns and I'm going to create a campaign. And I'll just create an email and I'll call this uh, discovery number one and I'll click begin. And then when I get here it's going to ask me to and I could have all my subscribe contacts or I could click edit recipients and I'm going to say no I only want this to go to my discovery leads and I can personalize the to field with their first name and click Save. And then the rest of this would be another tutorial about how to use MailChimp more effectively. But for now, this is how we merge our Gravity Forms leads with MailChimp. Thanks for watching this tutorial today. If you liked it, please go to my channel, click subscribe, and also turn on notifications so you get all the notifications as we have more tutorials like this coming out. Thanks again.